Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. So I had a request the other day for a review slash tutorial on the heated rollers I bought from Revlon. I actually picked these up from Argos and I think they're around about £50 at the moment. As you can see, my cat is super not interested. She's having a little snooze on the back of the chair. So hopefully we won't wake her up by uh, doing this video. But um, yeah, a lot of people just basically asked if I would show you how I use them, what they're like, what the results are like, all that kind of jazz. Now, as I said in the video, which I featured them in, I'm gonna link that above, uh, these are very great for that kind of like in-between phase. So I curled my hair a couple of days ago, and as you can see, half of it's dropped out, a few bits haven't. It's kind of like, in between it doesn't need a wash but I definitely need to restyle it because it it this this isn't doing anything for me so now the heated rollers only take three minutes to heat up so they are already ready they're super hot uh, I just need to comb my hair and section it and we can get right onto it so I am just using like a really wide tooth comb just to break through any residual product that I have built up in my hair um, because you know that's what happens when you're in between so now I've brushed my hair through as you can see no more knots and tangles it definitely needs a little bit of a rejig I want it to be a little bit more wavy than this this side is definitely looking way flatter than this side so we need to sort it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the heated rollers on, heat them up, and in about three minutes, uh, which should just give me enough time to section my hair, uh, they'll be ready to pop in. So to section my hair, I'm gonna do three kind of bands. So the top, the middle, and the bottom half. So tail comb. So I'm just gonna take it from like behind the ear. Now at this point, I would probably recommend adding in a uh, heat defender so I'm actually going to be using the Sasha Jan this is a styling cream it's got heat defense in it and you can use it for curly or straight hair it is more like a serum and literally all I'm going to do is take a pea size amount pop it through my fingers and then just run it through my hair Obviously you can use this wet or dry, um, it's very much up to you. Okay, so the Revlon heated rollers come in two sizes. You've got the smaller ones and then you've got the medium sized ones. I kind of wish there was a third size, like a bigger barrel uh, for really adding volume on the top, but there isn't. But that being said, these do a really good job. So we're gonna go in with the smaller rollers around the bottom and around the hairline, and then we're gonna use the middle rollers for the middle crown and top. So this has been on now for about five minutes. I'm gonna open up the window here, and I'm just gonna slide out one of the rollers. So I'm just gonna take off the clip and pop the barrel down. I'm gonna take a section of hair Probably that will do. Just gonna make sure it's nice and smooth. Pull it forward. And then you wanna think about where you want the hair to go. So do you want it to go towards your face or away from your face? In this instance, we want it to go away from my face. So we're gonna slide the roller to the end. We're gonna just tuck in the ends there. And then we're going to roll the ends in keeping them nice and smooth, tight, 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 tight. We can always pick up any little stray hairs that we've lost en route, okay? And as you tighten it off, bring it into the scalp, you want to get your clip and you wanna clip it into the hair behind it that you've pulled it away from. So it should always be like sitting on its bed and then that will keep it nice and tight to the scalp. So we're gonna do another one. Again, we want it away from the hair. So you're gonna turn it, pull it away from your head, wrap it so the ends are tucked in and then 
keep it nice and taut use your fingers to like kind of guide the hair so it's within the barrel so because these are felt um, you don't get any marks in your roller they're really comfortable to wear you just need to make sure that you've got them sitting on a bed of hair rather than like directly on your scalp so by over angling them when you roll them back in they should sit almost on their base and that way they don't burn your skin so here we have another section of hair okay so for this section we're going to for the front piece take a small barrel and then for the rest we're going to do larger barrels so for the front section here where we've got lots of like fine wispy little hairs we're going to pull it forward keep it nice and smooth take your small barrel again away from the face and then just roll it in it doesn't matter if you get a little bit of a curl coming out or anything like that it's perfectly fine okay bigger section this time because we're going in with a bigger roller okay so i'm just going to carry on and then when i get to the top i'll come back okay um i'm just on the last one a little bit more serum just to give it that extra bit of hold and then and then as i said roll it onto your base get your clip and clip it in so we're going to leave this for about 20 minutes half an hour obviously the longer you leave it the better and um, we'll see how they turn out i'm just going to turn off my um heated roller heater okay so it's been half an hour we're going to start from the back and start on rolling them so we're just going to remove the clip and very gently let it hmm. okay let's get them all out okay and there we are I do sometimes just grab the straighteners and just go through any like little pieces that just need a bit more definition, especially trying to get it to go away from my face. Sometimes I'll like pin it so it's like away. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, heated rollers are so easy to use. They give you lots of volume, lots of definition, uh, lots of shape and movement through the hair. You can make it as big or as little as you want you can pin it in exactly how you want your hair to go so forward backwards volume no volume whatever you want um, I like to use a strong hairspray afterwards just to um, go in at the roots and give an extra bit of lift but generally speaking other than that they work super well and if you do end up with any little wispies just like these bits here uh, you can literally just like grab your straighteners and um make them go away so guys that is everything from me i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial please give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and for now enjoy take care guys bye <laughs>